left Harrisburg without a fully completed budget. Also left in a lurch funding for so-called state-related universities like Penn State and Pitt. Cash for those schools requires a two-thirds vote in the legislature. And as WTAJ Harrisburg correspondent Dennis Owens reports, a handful of House Republicans are just saying no. Madam Speaker, I urge a no vote on this massive combined college funding bill. It was a college-level debate. And every member needs to consider what their impact of their vote will be today. Will they play politics with student tuition? House Bill 612 would give state funding hikes for four state-related schools. Penn State would get 17 million more next year, Temple 11 million, Pitt's increase would be 10 million, and Lincoln would get an extra 4 million. It needed a two-thirds majority in the House. Every Democrat voted yes. It still fell six votes short. I don't understand how 20 or 30 of, uh, Republicans didn't vote for it. It was shocking to me, but uh, uh, but at this point in time, I mean, I, I just I don't know what to expect from them anymore. Some Republicans are upset that state relateds wouldn't promise to freeze tuition if they were given the increases they sought. How do you go back and tell those parents, well, you know what, we gave them 7% more, way above the rate of inflation, and they're still going to raise tuition rates. So to compound it, why, why are these parents not taking a step back and saying enough is enough? My father was a high school dropout dentist. I'm a first generation high school and college graduate. And I wouldn't have been able to go to college if the public wouldn't have invested in me. State Rep Peter Schweier is a Penn State grad who chairs the House Education Committee. He says holding back dollars that are used to offset tuition for in-state students fails logic and math. You're not going to address the concern of lower cost college by not funding colleges. It's a dumb, stupid argument that is counterintuitive. But at the moment, the arithmetic that matters is two thirds of the house. And at the moment, the votes and therefore the funding just aren't there. Officially, the House and Senate are not scheduled back until September. Unofficially, there's still too much undone in the budget for them to stay away that long. In Dillsburg, York County, I'm Dennis Owens.